Hello everyone, so in this video what I will be doing is just giving you guys um, some tips I think it's about 10 tips that I use throughout college, also high school I think um, But it's more for virtual school I still use them and everything but I think they just come more into hand because we are doing online school and we probably will be doing it throughout the whole year so I think it's just um, good that we stay on track and do our best to get the best grades that we can. Um, I think it is very important to stay positive throughout these times and just to remember that it's okay if um, things happen, you get sick or you don't have a job or anything because things will get better. Um, I guess this video is more towards older students um, but they can be used towards anyone basically. Um, so let's start. I wrote them down here. So if I look down, it's because of that um, So I guess my first tip is to make a schedule or have a routine every day that you can follow My schedule this semester looks very hectic and I'm taking um, 20 units and honestly that is a lot of units for one semester um, especially for me just because I do have a hard time managing with all the homework that I will be getting throughout the semester. Um, we just started classes last week and it was already very hard for me to just finish all my work on time and things like that but you can do it honestly if I'm doing it anyone can do it. It's just very important to follow something that every day you can have a plan and it's okay if you fall behind that plan but just always look forward to the next thing um, and that's basically my biggest advice my next tip is to have an organized workspace if you can i know that some people do share their desks or they don't like to work at their desk they like to work at their bed and those things are fine but just be very organized and mindful that it's probably not just you using that workspace and if it is someone else then tell them to clean up after themselves if they don't or if they have papers all over their desk and things like that because you will feel more overwhelmed if you have everything out um, so yeah the next thing is to use Google Calendar I think it is very useful you can use any calendar um, I'm saying digital wise but Google Calendar is just amazing to be honest um i know that if you have an iphone the there's an app that comes or that is a calendar but i usually don't use that because you can't see your weekly view or unless you can and i'm just not aware of it but um on google calendar you can see everything and it color codes it for you and it's great okay the next thing is to use a planner um let me show you guys my planner so this is my planner it looks like a binder, like a mini binder, cute, you know, and it comes with all the months right there. So now we're in August, and this was my first week. <laughs> this is how my first week went. Um, there's more under there, more under there, and that's just like a list of what I have to do, daily homework, what classes I have. The green stuff is what I did, the pink stuff is what I also did. Um, as I'm going along, I check it off. And yeah, and it comes in very handy. Um, let me show you guys a blank page, I guess. This is how it would look, your weekly view. And honestly, if you get cute school supplies, you feel more motivated to do all your work so i think that it's amazing um this one does keep me on track i've noticed it i will definitely be using it throughout the entire semester so it's amazing and also try to color code your stuff so i always use these type of highlighters you can use any highlighter but i'm just saying and then these are my favorite pens because they never run out they never 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 run out literally they're all over my house um the next tip is to Every now and then you need to vent. We did this at our pay it forward meeting yesterday and I think that it is very um, important to just have time to talk about what you're feeling that week. If you're feeling very overwhelmed, tell someone. You don't have to tell a friend, you can tell your mom. Um, but just get it out because it will be better than if you just throw it all out in the end and you feel like giving up every time because you feel very overwhelmed but once you talk about it 
you kind of plan out or map out your ideas and what you're going to do next so it's okay it's okay we're we're all there we're all there um also study as much as you can and that will lead you to not having to stress about an exam as much as you would than if you were um in an in-person setting and stuff like that um to be honest it is very hard to just stay focused with this setting that we're having but it is very important that we do something about it and that you stay productive during this time and talking about not stressing is to also take some time for yourself and just be mindful that you are you are human you are living and that you do need some time to just rest um if you can go outside i know that the air quality is probably not the best right now um wear a mask and go outside and just sit down or go walk or go on a run go hiking do anything that you have to do to just keep your mind clear and okay in an okay space um the next thing would probably be to treat yourself every now and then for doing good or for passing an exam or just doing well that week um if you're doing better than you thought you were go treat yourself go buy something go buy popcorn and watch a movie because you know movie theaters are closed but you can do that um and also the next tip is very very important and it's to just check your mental health and where you are feeling how you are feeling um if you're not in a good space maybe do something about it and talk to someone because there's always help and there will always be someone to help you um i'm available <laughs> if anyone needs to talk about anything then i'm here too and my final tip is to just talk talk about everything talk about how you're doing if you're doing not so great talk about it too um talk to yourself um i know that sometimes you do it subconsciously and you feel like oftentimes it's very hard to just manage your whole life and you feel like you can't do it anymore but believe me you can and you have to talk through yourself about this so these are all my um 10 tips i know that it's probably 10 or 11 but um i want to wish everyone a good luck during this semester and during these times because you are not alone and we are here as pay it forward scholars to help you so if you ever watch this video keep in mind that we will always be here to help you and if you need anything we're here so thank you and good luck in your semesters